Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm Avon and on that box we see a Catherine of Sky. <laughs> How are you doing today, Catherine? I am doing great. We are playing this fabulous game and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I, I need to do a few things today and we need to get some more fuel because we are, I think we're kind of getting low on that, right? But the next milestone is obstacle clearing. So we should be able to go and chop down half the world of trees, which will be great. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to... So let's start by doing that, I guess. Are you working on the, the milestone? Uh, I can, sure. Okay, I, have... I, I was just going to finish getting, like, boxes made for these screws to put them in. Oh, go ahead. And... Yeah. Okay. I'll sort it, because uh, I had... Um half of the materials anyway and i'll just get the next half nice we have uh, uh we are going to have a tiny lack of copper i think because in the last episode i didn't have time to set it up ah okay but, but we have for at least one more milestone okay so i guess that's the obstacle clearing. I'm going to sort the copper before I obstacle clear. Okay, do you want me to build the um, chainsaws? I can work on those. Uh, sure, if, if you want. If, if you're not busy, feel free to do, you know, what you think is. Um, yeah, I'm think... almost done with this. I was just getting these screws made and put into these okay. things. See. Organization. I'm gonna grab a few materials here and there. Oh wow, so many rods. I guess we should say that we um, we had a little bit of a break and let the factory run a bit, <laughs> so we'd have some more materials. Um, because otherwise, it's just a waiting game. Um, so it's kind of good to have. Yes, stuff. and uh, we've been building so fast, so we. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's and and the whole. Uh, it's not possible to pause the game. Yeah. So uh, between the episodes, it happened, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes, things happened and stuff. All right. Um, um, <laughs> smelter is 30 a second, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so. Uh, I'm going to build two chainsaws. Mm. Uh, I'm thinking here. Do you, do um, um mm. copper plates should i combine those bands into a box and then split it again to make uh, wire and uh, cable or should i just use one for wire and one for cable um i i don't know that we actually need that much copper I mean, how do you feel about it? No, we don't need that much, but... Uh, so... I think one for each, but it's going to be complete overkill on... Uh, on cable. At least. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, maybe... But we still... we uh, Right now we have 60 copper a second. Okay. And... Uh, I'll, I'll sort something out. But, uh, but I, I guess the, uh, what I was asking is if we wanted to have uh, plates in a box, but I don't think we need to. I don't think we need we to. I just... don't think there's anything that we can make with them. Um, I think it's just important to build some cable because I know we need it for one of the other things in the future. Uh, I can't remember what it is, though. Mm. Okay, yeah, I see. But, but I can't remember, uh... good lord. Oh, is there anything here? Ah, yes. Flower petals are done. Let's do something else. R and D. Oh, it's hard to align stuff when uh, are useful for two things. not above it. Dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory. Ah, research. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, yeah, I Ada. started a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna make yeah. a couple of chainsaws. Um. Make sure to grab some fuel before you go out. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say something else. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to leave a okay. surprise for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
I like this. I like this method of doing things. <laughs> Just yes. leaving it as a hint in the base. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh... There we go. Uh... Nice. Ah, oh, well, they're kind of pointed away from each other, but you'll see it. I'm quite sure you'll see it. <laughs> nice. I think I might go out chopping some stuff. Stuff, sure. stuff, stuff. Okay. I'm trying this. I think I'll leave. Alignment of the machines here. And... and I think I'll leave some of my materials in here just in case I get killed. I don't really want to get killed, but it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> You know what, I haven't died yet in this game, so, so I don't know uh, what, what happens and what. Ah, well, what happens is that you generally, um, your your body turns into a chest full of stuff, an orange chest, mm -hmm. which I approve. Um, but <laughs> the other problem is that um, you have to go get it. And that includes yeah. your magical zapper thing. Which, if you don't go get it, you have no defenses. So that's not ideal. Scary to die in the beginning, then. Yeah, it is. Uh, remember, I did that when we uh, yeah. when we played our test game. Yeah. So I died because I walked off of a it was kind of like a precipice thing, and I just didn't see that it was a precipice because it was a narrow area, very very narrow between these sort of plateaus or islandy things, whatever you want to call them. And it, um, I was falling for quite a long while uh, to get there. But after that, I hit the bottom and my body was literally unretrievable. And it was the very beginning of the game and I had no weapon for... How long was that? I think you, you yeah, have to have... Yeah, that was a while. Do you have to complete the entire hub to get it or something? It was really complicated because I thought you needed like higher level materials. You couldn't build it at hub one or two, I don't think. Uh, I think it was at the same level as you get the portable miner. But the struggle was that it required uh, reinforced iron plates. So we had ah. to get copper and, and it was, okay. yeah. So if that wasn't a multiplayer game, that would have been yeah, I don't really know if it would have been possible beginning. because there are so many enemies around and if you have to travel far for like limestone or something or anything that you need. Limestone oh, reached. nice. Oh god, go away. Wait, wait, oh, hurry, hurry. Uh, excuse me thing. Don't <laughs> kill me. I'm Scary walking nature. very fast. Yes. Scary nature. Hello thing. That was good the way we did it before with like... Oh boy, right. Okay. I'm coming back quickly. Hello. Why is my shift not working? Okay, it, it helps if I actually press the key. Oh, okay, they're still chasing me. I'm just gonna walk further. Ah, yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> no, I, I was pressing a <laughs> key, but it wasn't the right key. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I was pressing caps lock instead. I often do this. My I think my fingers are not quite aligned very well for doing certain things. I don't know. Uh, that's an excuse. Yeah, new games, it takes a while to do the whole muscle memory thing. On, yeah, uh, and I think my, my fingers were just kind of feeling a little bit misaligned here. Because I have my keyboard at an odd angle at the moment. There we go. That's probably better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, when that happens when typing, it, you like write a whole paragraph with yes. one of the hands shifted ones. You know what it's I like... wish for? And maybe this is a thing. And I don't know if it is. If, if so, it could be a miracle, a lifesaver thing. I often accidentally hit the caps lock key. It just happens to me. I I, don't, I can't be the only one who does this. And I was just wondering, is there some kind of an automatic way or a hot key or combo that would allow you to select the paragraph and then convert it to non caps locked paragraph? Like, wouldn't that huh. be the most useful tool ever? I, I, I would have use it never all the time. thought about that. I do it but, daily, like well, not 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 even daily, multiple times a day, and it it always kind of is like, why isn't there an easy way to do this? Um, we have a lot of wood and petals. <laughs> yeah, I I see I see why that's a thing. 
I, I just never had. Maybe it doesn't happen you know, often be... enough to you to like feel the desperation of like, oh my god, it happened again. <laughs> no, I, and I think I watch the screen when typing, so I, so I see it instantly. Ah, okay, uh, okay. Uh, but it it's in in uh, when coding. You know, when you do inputs into web pages, there is mm -hmm. a command that converts everything to lowercase. Okay. And it would be nice to like run that command in, uh, say, in a text program. Mm -hmm. There yeah. might be one, uh, huh. even if I don't. I should look it up. I should look that up. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing is, I tend to look at the keyboard and not at the screen. Um, yeah. Then that's my my bad. I've been typing forever, but I still always look at the keyboard. But you know, my keyboard is beautiful. There's no wonder I look at it. It has like sort of a rotating rainbow of colors. It's very pleasant to look at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Red and yellow. It's it goes kind of very slowly in like this um, circular pattern. So yeah, it's it's very um, mesmerizing, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keyboards nowadays always like rotating rainbowy colors. And, yeah, uh, I love rainbows though. They're so pretty. Just like the I don't know the colorway is just nice. I've always liked that though. You know, like with designing stuff and uh, stuff. I'm sure nobody could have guessed that from my thumbnails <clears throat> ever. No, 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 no. This is a hidden no, thing no. that I keep to myself. It's secret. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew. <laughs> you, oh, okay. Holy fuzzy cats. I have 1,700 leaves. I have really been deleting nature like a real pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I? This is deletable too. This is humongous. Let's see how many wood we get from this. Oh, only 14? No, that can't be right. We're not ready yet. 29. I can just keep deleting this tree and it poofs into many. Is this an infinite tree? Oh god, <laughs> it's an infinite tree! I already have 116 wood and 243 leaves from it and I keep on chainsawing. Wow. wow. This is an infinite know. tree. Holy fuzzy cats. 205 wood. At this rate, oh. I'm gonna run out of fuel. I've ran out of sound for my chainsaw. It stopped playing the sound now. <laughs> 286 wood. And I have 15 fuel. I started out at 19 fuel, I think. This is an infinite tree. We need a beacon by this tree. As soon as we can make a beacon, we're going to make a beacon by this tree. Sounds good. 400 Make sure now. you it doesn't like fall over and fall on top of you now. No, no, no. It's falling next to a cliff. Barrel Incoming message. Barrel nuts are done. Excellent. Yeah, I replaced. 500 wood and a thousand leaves from this tree. <laughs> this is this is the endless tree. I found it. Oh, it stopped producing. Let's try it again. Oh. Okay, it's still standing, but it's not giving any more wood. Apparently, uh, I sucked all the wood from inside of it. <laughs> and now I maybe. can keep... What? Uh, I was going to say, maybe it's like refillable, as in maybe... Um... <laughs> Uh, you can come back later and it's maybe grown more wood <laughs> grown more wood on the inside oh that could be that could be okay so this is the thing I should drop something here so to note that this was the tree oh that's why I don't have any space in my inventory it's still the tree of life and wood <laughs> holy fuck I but the funny thing is it let me keep chainsawing and uh, took two fuel while I was just chainsawing I'm going to mark this with copper ingots standing here so we know that that is the tree. All right, mm -hmm. that's the infinite tree. Yeah, it's on. Uh, let's see. I was thinking, do we have a uh, uh, beacon? Uh, what you can do, by the way, if you want to make it very noticeable, if you have parts for it, a mm -hmm. uh, lookout tower is very cheap oh, to build. Oh, that's great. And it's very noticeable. Very visible. I'm going to put it by the infinite tree. Of course, there are probably closer infinite trees that I don't know about yet. But this is very good. Let's see, can I make a... I should probably check if I can make a beacon... Or a tower. Special. Could make a space elevator here, maybe. <clears throat> sure. 
Uh, I think <laughs> we might have enough for it now, actually. <gasps> I can't elevator. afford it. No! The no. sadness is real. I, I left most of my away? stuff. Yeah, not that far away. Well, it's worth it for an infinite tree, don't you think? <laughs> if he comes yeah, I, to me. I'm... <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I will. Uh, I was thinking if if I can place a tower somewhere, then you can, you know, as long as you can see and reach the tower, you can deconstruct and... Oh, okay. Uh, you know, like... Well, if you want to come spring. and see the infinite tree. I mean, sure. that's a sight to behold. I oh, I see, a, a, I see one of the and... snails. How nice. Yeah, me too. Uh, maybe it's the same one. It's probably the same one. Do you see me leaping uh -huh. about? No. Uh, you're behind something. Okay. But let's see. Slug. Yep. Was it the correct one? No. Nope. There's still one. Oh, there on you are. Left. I see a jumping. <laughs> jumping see. Catherine. Catherine. Yay. Yeah. Hooray. Hooray. I want to see this tree. I wonder if that's a bug or. <laughs> I wonder if that's know, intended. I, yeah, I don't know yeah. if it's a bug or a feature. Oh, so we did. Yeah, it was a different, a different um, snail that you found. Okay, so this is the infinite tree here. See if you can get some wood from it. <laughs> oh, did you pick up your present, by the way? No, and oh. I also don't see a tree here. Oh. Well then, there's one leaning up, up onto the cliff here. Uh -huh. So there's no so tree here for be, you. Yeah, a decent thing with the multiplayer. Well, I got a lot of wood because... from it, and that is no joke. It's in my inventory. <laughs> yeah. I can keep on farming it if you want me to drop the wood and stuff. <laughs> uh, I can bring the wood back and have a couple of stacks. Why don't you just build the tower, and I'll come back when we need more? Because we may we may oh, get yes. to the coal stage before we need more wood. We have so much. It, it's very easy to find with the, you know, the natural bridge here. Mm hmm Oh, yes. And that's where the game crashed when we started up, because I think ah. our previous base was down there. Uh-huh. I'm not completely sure. Not that it matters, because I think this starting location is better. Mm hmm the, the whole uh, normal instead of impure thing. Do you see this um, snail? Oh, yes. Okay. If you could pick that one up, because I don't have any inventory space. I mean, literally full stacks of all the things. Picking up the nice. Or snail. Yes. And all right. Ah, here is the cover. Ah. So it's, it's not very. <laughs> oh yeah, you're it's right. It's so funny how you navigate and then suddenly see it from a different angle. Mhm. Mm That's cool. I'm not doing proper ratios, by the way, on the copper. Oh, so for I don't everyone think it's watching, possible, that's on really. purpose. Yeah, yeah, and we don't need that much copper anyway. It's not necessary to like worry too much about those no. things because we just usually have mountains of copper stuff compared to the iron bits. Yeah, I, I think so as well. All right, I'm gonna no. drop off the fuel and hopefully we won't run out before we, um, yeah, before we uh, get the fuel made. There's the moon. I'm going to look for my present now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can trigger the next stage as well. Nice. And oh yeah, uh, thinking, uh, thinking about oh, biofuel and a chainsaw. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Nice. I can mm. now go destroy some nature as well. Not that it's probably needed. Find right yourself now, but... an infinite tree. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab some thingies. So I'm going to do the not milestone just for fun on the way here. Mm. Ah, nuts. Have you figured out how to change the object that you're scanning for? Yes, uh, left click. I think. Left if click I remember. On it. what, though? Because I couldn't figure out air. a way to, in the air. Okay. Yeah, as in on anything. 
Ah, okay. The, the scanner doesn't doesn't you know target anything. I I believe. Okay, okay. I might remember it wrong, but I think it was just left click. Okay. And and then there's a wheel like the whole scanning for mm -hmm. iron thing. Ah, okay, okay. Because I couldn't figure out a way to get it because I was looking at the hotkeys and stuff, and I just couldn't find it. But um, maybe it's like the vehicle thing. Though that one was C. I or was it C? I don't remember. I don't remember. It's a, it. It happened. Uh, C is the scanning for copper, lime, and yeah. iron. At least. Yeah, and I think you um, could do that for the vehicle as well to choose the modes on that. Okay, exploration oh, things. Okay. I think that we will now have an abundance of uh, cable, but mm -hmm. I'm a bit unsure about the wire. But I think I'm going to. Let's see. We we have we have a whole uh, smelter that's not used now. Mm -hmm. So if we need more, I'll just connect up more. And uh, grab some more spools of wire now for the miles. Uh, uh, oh yes, I think Ooh, I'll leave my wire in the box it's yeah it's that oh, one we don't need that much i'll just well i'll just take all of it then or yeah I'll t i, I uh, took a thousand and so then i'll hopefully have enough okay. for the next milestone as well yeah i took the rest and uh there uh, i also have a full stack of cable so there's more in the box for you yeah i have some cable thank you i grabbed it i think after you got it so okay good okay let's just send this stuff off to space and we have many screws. Excellent. We have jump pads. More importantly, landing thingy majingies. <laughs> Those green jello things. Okay. Oh yes, the animation of the thingy going to space. I was told to show this, by the way. <clears throat> and I did. But yes. <laughs> uh, outside, uh, yeah, on the hub. Yeah, the, on the hub, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need 200 biomass for that. Do I have any of this? No. Should I collect some? Maybe. Yeah, it's 200 it biomass be. for each landing pad. That's one of the reasons I haven't built them yet, because uh, I... I hadn't found you know th that amazing uh, tree you found uh -huh. so, so i was using it for power instead <laughs> yes um yes. why is this not functioning thing why are you not going let's just try and reconnect this somehow i'll try to look for you now oh, there you Okay, there it goes. For some reason, it wasn't functioning at all. I'm gonna collect 200 biomass <laughs> here real quick. We have so much wood now. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is great. You place oh, some you... limestone in here as well, I think. I'm not sure what happens with that. Oh, it, it I, comes... I just removed it. Yeah, from. please do, please do. Because what happens is that the um, the the conveyor belt randomly takes out stuff. I don't know if it goes in order, like it takes out the last stack, but it doesn't care what it takes out. It just takes out stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's important to to only have one kind of material in the box then. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Um, I can make one of those um, jelly thingamajingies. I have the materials. Do you want one somewhere? Um, I see the temporary uh, I have tower two on is me. no longer. No. Two. Uh, but if, two uh, I have two, two power sluggies oh. readily made in my inventory. Oh, we don't need power sluggies. We just need the biomass. Which I have. I collected some. Oh, biomass. Sorry. Yeah. You know what? Uh, we I could was... build a tower out here, maybe. This might be a good spot, actually. Sure. If I... Yeah, I have a tendency to just build them, uh, run up, 
uh, and build the stuff I am trying to build, and then uh, deconstruct. Yeah, after I fall down and get mad oh, at wait, the tower. Wait, 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 hold on! Don't go yet. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I wanted to change the direction of the ladder, um, and I'll put the um, I'll put the the landing spot behind it. I think. Because it's okay. quite big. It's very. I'm looking very forward big. to trying this. I haven't yeah, yeah, done this yeah, yeah. before. Try this. This is great. But wait, please, until I power it. <clears throat> <laughs> because otherwise you will die. Well, you won't die. You'll lose health, though. And that's But I want to jump now. You can jump now, then. Right. Go ahead. I'm connecting <laughs> things as fast as possible. I'm getting yeah, the rush. power poles. Oh, that one is too mm -hmm. long. Oh, feel free to, you know, remove stuff and this no, one. No, no. Uh, I'm has just trying to one. figure out where to connect this. Which one? Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm not finding uh, it. I can. Uh, I was thinking. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. This one. You, you do your thing. That's great. Oh, perfect. There you go. Nice. Okay, try. Have a go. It's now good. Oh, it looks mushy. It's mushy, know, yes, it is very mushy. Hello. Woohoo! Hooray! Yeah, there Ooh. you go. It's fun. Okay, I'll do the same, so... <laughs> it's kind of a funky thing. We can swim in it, almost. <laughs> yes, I suppose we can. But yeah, you can just fall off, literally. It's it's quite easy to to go down. Oh, that's... One thing that I yeah. found really weird in my playthrough was, like, at some point it got black, and I was like, was that because I've jumped in it too many times and it got dirty or what? But I couldn't figure out why it was black. It still functioned normally, but the color was not green. Huh. It was really gross looking. It was like, okay, is that like black mold growing in there or something? <laughs> <laughs> so I think after reloading the game, it reset to green again or something. But it was very odd, really strange. So Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it might be like uh, a graphical thing. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, you know what we need? We need some, uh, what do you call that stuff? The stuff that, that works good if one brain, one's brain works good. Um, it's called an assembler. Yes. To build the space elevator, we need <laughs> assemblers. Yes. I, I'll find it eventually. We need to assemble a few yeah, extra need. brains. <laughs> I have uh, close to enough materials for the for the space thing now, I think. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. That's um, well, I have the concrete anyway, and uh, let's we... see space a little Did we already get it? Do we have the assembler? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay then. Well then. Yeah, it is, that was one let's of the things the I then. just plop down um, nice let's see so uh, to make the space elevator we are missing wire Lots and plates to ensure your okay I have when exploring a hundred plates on me you now have access to an object we need here, I'll drop, many, them. Uh, drop them 250 here, here you go okay and thank I you stuff oh I don't know if that's enough wire but it's what I have I'm going to go and refuel the generators again. I don't know where they're at, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Oh, this base is looking so nice. It's mm -hmm. so nice to see all of the belts flowing with different materials on because it's... Mm -hmm. uh... And I like the boxes of uh, screws. The graphics yeah. on the materials are so... <laughs> yes, some of the materials are really cool. I do like the screws myself. They look very good. I feel like the the plates may be a little bit too flat to see from a distance, but I guess that maybe can't be helped very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, space, elevator. Need 100. Ooh. Where are you going to build this thing? I want to see. I don't know. If, if you want to build it... Uh, no, no, no. I just want to watch. I want to watch. Uh, how about out in the field here somewhere? Sounds good. Yeah. D 
Do, do we want it on uh, platforms or, or just place it? Um, it's up to you. I think we can just place it, but we could put platforms if uh, if you want. Where are you? Um, oh, there you are. Yeah, I, I think it's very large, so we need a lot of platforms to... Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, it's still going to take a couple of more put it the like... material. Like... We could put it on top of this ridge over here and be like having all of the Ooh, conveyor belts nice. go above and like have this grand conveyor belt system doing that. That might be fun. Oh yes. And like, then we can use the conveyor belts if we want to traverse up as well. Yeah. So we can kind of like them up, up here ish. Yes. Okay. I'm going to come down and, and make assemblers nice for the other stuff. Do. Yeah. Base as well. Ooh. Are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Nice, I was nice. with you. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Got confused. Oh, look, <laughs> look up you. above the um, the uh, thingy over here. There's a there's a snail without a shell up here. I don't know if you can see. Oh God, I'm jumping in the trees now. But he's up on the cliff there. Uh, on my side. No, no. Um, uh, you see where I am? Jumping. Hello. Yeah. Yep. Right above me, on the cliff. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's fun. I I went and got him in my other <laughs> he's game. He's fun. He's fun. Yes, <laughs> that's right. If we just happen to know the snail has a lot of fun, and we enjoy yeah. <laughs> his company very very much. Right. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start making the materials that we need. I think we are gonna need the rotors and the uh, reinforced plates. Right. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna start making um, those. I need to make assemblers. Oh god, how do I make an assembler? Um, Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking maybe set off another miner here. Sure. Uh, like here. Yep. Um, but but I'm not sure if that like messes with, uh, you know, having smelters on one side and. Why? I mean, you oh, can no. you can no, no, set no. this up and take the belt around. Right? Yeah, we don't need to though. We have a full. We only use one miner so far, and we have a second one placed. Oh, nice. Are they both the same the uh, production rate? This one is sixty. This yeah. one is also sixty. Well then, so they can yeah, both massive. supply too. That's great. Yeah. Wow. So this one can. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you uh, a thought here. Okay. Because we have Let me go uh, the smelter see. for. Uh, the mm -hmm. temporary copper smelter, right? Yeah, that can be so converted can... to iron easily. Yeah, and we can place one more here, mm -hmm. but it gets very tight uh, mm -hmm. or not a lot of breathing room yeah. in the base. Well, but we can, we I can extend the base this way to the right, because I'm thinking I, I would really like to have two assemblers making the um, the plates, those reinforced plates. Um, yeah. And so we could have another thing just completely devoted to making these uh, iron rods. So yeah, two more smelters making screws. And we can also move the hub. I think that's just yeah, we can. you know pick it up and move it. Yeah, we can. Um, uh, I I don't mind it being where it is though. I kind of like it where it is. Uh, we then, can then squiggle the belts around. I mean, this area here where we're standing is not used at all. So this could be a platform for the belts to kind of squiggle this way, you know. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. And squiggly is good. Yes. We like squiggly. Oh, yes. <laughs> and and you can... Uh, both those belts can go on the same squiggle, but mm -hmm. on different floors. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, yes. The squiggle is real. Okay, I'm going to... I needed to make rotors. Okay, so I'm going to make some assemblers to make those things. Oh, this yeah, is Yeah, I'm going great. to finish the space elevator because we are running out of time and it would be fun to do that ah, before yeah, yeah, we yeah. stop. Are you... Let me know when you're going to build it uh, and I will oh, yes, come and watch because that's fun. I need, I need a couple of more iron plates, so I'm going to... There's that. I also need enough to make... A minute. Yeah, Spiders. it takes one minute to get enough plates. So okay. uh, we can deal with that. Okay, I have plenty of stuff. How many plates do you need? Uh, 15-ish. Oh, I have plenty. 
Or where are you? Uh, let's see. I need to handcraft a tiny bit of wire as well. I have wire, I think. No, I have no wire. Oh, I have cable, oh, you gave it but all not to wire. Me. Uh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a bit of overkill on the cable, I think. Slight overkill. But it's... Yeah, <laughs> like... Tiny amount. I wonder if we can place the elevator from here. Or if that's too far away. From the tower? Mm-hmm. Let's find out. That's an interesting wire. graphical error. <laughs> it's the grids on top of the things. They're making very funny patterns, like as I move to the right and to the left. The lines in them, because yeah, yeah, because of the resolution. The... Yep, yep. Yeah. That's quite interesting, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Oh, how the easily amused are amused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well, uh, our factory looks awesome, though. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. It's so nice to be able to see it from above like that. Mm -hmm. We need to get, Let's like, a bulldozer, though, to, like, remove that giant rock and that's in the way of our factory. Otherwise, everything's going to have to, like, do a two-step to the left. Like, and go diagonally <laughs> and then go around the rock. <laughs> Yeah, maybe a belt can go above. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, <laughs> it won't be. Let's see. Where where is the Catherine? There is the Catherine. Catherine is here. Yes. Okay. Do you have uh, Do you have a thought for this? Well, weren't we going to place it to the left uh, on that ridge there near the copper? Oh, I'll, yeah, of course. Or do we want but, to? Uh, we could we could do it elsewhere. We could do it in the plane down there as well. Oh, careful! You forgot to oh, use the jelly oh. pool. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. That was me trying to target stuff and oh, geez. walking too close to the edge. All right. I want to I have to. Uh, oh, we can climb the copper making thing. Ah, uh -huh, yes. That's a good There's... idea. I like this idea. It's very friendly. It will look so good if we get to place it up here. Mm hmm. And. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh. No, just the one. Oh, nice. Right. Uh, let's see. Right there. It's possible to place it right there. What do Is you think? Is that good? I think that should be good. I think it gives enough space to put the conveyors in and stuff. Do yeah, you want to have the conveyors on the other or... side? Or, yeah, or, or on the back side? Like so? Um... Uh, either that way or put the conveyors toward both. I mean, rotate it. <laughs> yeah, there except for 180 degrees, like. Uh, oh, oh. Like that way. Like I don't know how way. we feel sure. about this. Or uh, how do you think? Because I'm thinking it's like easier access for the conveyors, but maybe we need more ground to put the conveyors on as well. Because we don't want them like. Well, we can have it more like inland like this. Okay, that's, maybe that's a good idea. I think I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. Okay, just Unless plop you in want here it then. On the, if you want it on the edge, though, you could put the conveyors in the back, like we, you had it the first time. Like yeah, let's that. see how close to you. Because there are some uh, trees and some rocks here that makes mm -hmm. it a bit hard to place. If you but... rotate it one more tick, yeah. Or two, yeah. Like so? Is that too close to, to the that's... edge? Oh, that looks really nice there. It's like placeable that. right here. What do you think? Oh. I think it looks fabulous. This is great. Oh, here it comes. Um, I see the materials flying out of you. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, like. Uh, as long as you have an inventory space, you can just move it like any other building. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the elevator coming from space. Nice. Oh, yes, from high above. Woohoo! And we're ready to That's nice that it. you can see it so early. Yeah, it, like they were waiting for us the whole time. They're like, oh my god, one of those people got to place down the elevator. We're waiting here forever. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Moving it as I move the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, all the sparks. Come on, catch the thingy majingies. There you go. I was worried that they don't it's catch so it. It's so nice that it's so massive. I mm -hmm. like that it's not just a symbolic space elevator. It's yeah, very it's big. Yeah. Though I have to say that I was a little bit disappointed, like when I sent up my first shipment to space with the elevator, mm. there was no animation at all. It was nothing. I was like, huh? 
You know, there's no yeah. <laughs> parcels going up the rails or something, huh? So it was very sad for me. I guess it's inside the elevator. Yeah, I guess so. That makes sense, I guess. But yeah, I see what you mean. Let's see. So, yeah. Configure. Okay, so we Life have... Life was rough then, but it's okay now. We can now feed the elevator whatever it wants. And it wants, uh, yeah, the rotors and the plates. So we're going to have to deal with those, I guess, in the next episode, right? Sounds good. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's nice to get this far. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, and we can write the belt back down. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got stuck in a tree. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> chainsaw. Must. There are remedies for this. Must. Yeah, the chainsaw, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice. Oh, and I have, of course, put my fuel in a stack, <laughs> so I can't do it. No. <laughs> I had, I think I put oh. mine all in the power plants, so I don't have any yeah. anymore. Anyway. This is a job for next episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>